Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your publication, make sure that you have it properly set up using the Page Setup dialog box. Once this is accomplished, you will want to check the way that your publication will print without having to waste paper by printing several copies until it is correct. Publisher provides a view of your publication called Print Preview to assist you with this. In Print Preview, you can see how your publication will actually print on paper according to the specifications you've set in the Page Setup dialog box. To view your currently open publication in Print Preview, click the File tab within the ribbon, and then click the Print command. In the section to the right in the Backstage view, you will see various printing options. To the right of those options, you will see the Print Preview of your publication. Note that there are three buttons that appear in the far lower right corner of the backstage view at this point. You can click and drag the slider icon shown in the zoom slider to increase or decrease the magnification of the print preview page display. You could also click into the publication with your mouse to zoom in and out or click the fit to page button to display the entire page. You can click the view multiple sheets button to display a pop-up grid. You can then click into the grid to select the number of pages to display within Print Preview at the same time. Also note that if you are printing multiple pages, you can click the small left and right arrows that appear at the bottom of the Print Preview to scroll through the pages that you will print. You can also click directly into the number box and then enter the page number of the page you would like to display in the Print Preview to view it on screen. After you have previewed your publication, you can then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the Backstage view. In the Print section, enter the number of copies that you would like to print into the Copies of Print Job Spinner box, or simply click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the Printer section, use the drop-down to select the name of the printer to which you want to print the publication. In the Settings section, use the first drop-down to select what you want to print within your publication. You can select either Print All Pages, Print Selection, Print Current Page, or Custom Print, which is also called Print Custom Range in Publisher 2010. Note that you can enter the number of pages to print into the Pages text box if you select Custom Print. Page ranges can be sequential, such as 1 through 10, or non-sequential, such as 1, 5, and 10, or a combination, such as 1 through 5, and then page 10. Separate sequential page ranges with a hyphen and non-sequential pages with a comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon at the right of the text box, you can see examples of how to print multiple publication pages. You can use the next drop-down to choose how to print multiple publication pages. You can choose either one page per sheet, tiled, multiple copies per sheet, multiple pages per sheet, booklet, side fold, and side fold half sheet. For any option other than one page per sheet, you will need to specify additional settings from the drop-down or layout options button that appears below. The next drop-down allows you to set a page orientation for printing and select a paper size. Below that, you can use the next drop-down to select how to print one or two-sided pages. For two-sided manual printing, the selection you make also informs you of how you should flip the sheets to print the second side. When printing multiple pages, you can use the next drop-down to choose our collating options. The last drop-down allows you to print either a composite, RGP, or grayscale publication. You can also check the Save Settings with Publication checkbox to save these print settings along with publication data so that you won't need to change them in the future. When you are done choosing your printing options, just click the large Print button at the top of the Print section to begin printing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.